Oh my gosh, dude, I think I, I might have found something that can go in the tank. Oh, this is like the final moments right here. Look at that thing. Dude, he's sick. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we got a little mini aquarium and this thing actually functions. So it's a full functioning mini aquarium. And what we're gonna be doing today is setting it up as a mini saltwater aquarium and trying to make the world's smallest saltwater aquarium. So what we got is literally a little glass aquarium and then underneath it, it actually has a sump. So you're actually gonna have a whole filtration system in the bottom of it. So it has crystal clear water and you're able to actually keep some living things in here that are obviously small enough to live in here. So what we're gonna do is get everything together and then get this thing set up. So right here we got the pump and this is probably the biggest thing obviously because it's what's gonna make the filter flow and everything pretty much work in the tank. The filter itself is actually a little USB, so you just plug it into like a little, oh, we don't have one, but we'll grab one. You plug it plug it into like a phone charger box. Then you plug it in the wall, and that's how that works. Then right here is everything to actually make the filter itself. So you're actually gotta build it. And we're gonna go through all the steps on actually building it. We got Polly, he's in the bathroom right now. Paul actually did this, I think he did a freshwater one though, a while back, and it came out pretty sick. So we're gonna be doing the saltwater version today and maybe it will come out a little different. Obviously, we'll be able to put different things in it. So that will be pretty cool. So let's set this bad boy up. Paul? Paul? Oh, I hear him. All right, there he is. All right, we need you. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I only remember on how to set this up somewhat just from like when me and Paul did it a while back. Like I said, he did the freshwater one, so Hopefully he still remembers because this thing is, I remember when setting it up with Paul, we were so confused on a couple parts because do you remember that? When we were like, how yeah. the heck does this thing yeah, work? I still think it was how to do this. Yeah, so bear with us, but we're definitely gonna try to make this happen. Nice yeah, the cut's healing. The cut is healing. See that? Does it look good? Can we do some cinematic ASMR? Yeah, let's roll it. Let's do this real quick. That's awesome. Let's hook her back up. Hey, we got one more. Oh, we got one more. Yeah, nice ASMR. Light is back on. Battery died, but it is now back on. And Paul is um, unboxing, everything. unboxing everything. Hopefully he can put this thing together because like I said, what is on very, your what? Matamata gets out of the cage sometimes, man. A little update, Paul's already got um, some of the filtration going. We got two of the slots in, and then you got the little sponge, which is obviously gonna filter the water. Now, we just gotta wait for Paul to get off the phone with his mom, because he's like a professional at this thing. I don't know how to set this up, so. Now it's like my turn. You what? what, yeah. I don't remember anything. Really? I have a really bad memory. I, I kinda remember, I just remember it being hard. It was like this. Yeah, it was like that. Yeah, and this went like this, and the thing went right there. What thing? That went like that. I'm the nice. I don't need this guy. Five minutes later. I think that. Yeah. Can you pull the video? Back? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll pull it back up. Uh, <laughs> top on. Okay, I got something. This goes here. Hey. Pretty sweet. I'm Hold up. Once this thing is completed, it's this is gonna be sick. sick. It's so sick. I've never seen a saltwater one, so maybe pretty different. I think it will just because saltwater and freshwater are completely two different Where things, but those go. Really oh, right here. Put them in here. Up, the the overflows. Other way. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. Let go. You're gonna break it. Look, look, right here. Look at him put him in. This guy sucks. Hopefully our video is a little better than this one. Oh, yeah. I broke it back. No! So after a long, long time of trying to figure out how to set this thing up, we finally did it. Um, we had to use a little duct tape because we broke some of the pieces, but the duct tape will hold for now until I pick up some super glue and can fix these pieces that I broke and we'll just put them back on. But like I said, it took a little longer than last time, and Paul was right, it was a different kind of brand, so it wasn't the same pieces. So a little more confusing, but we made it happen. It is now time to start setting this thing up and seeing if it does work. Hopefully it says what 
I saw it when I bought it. It says it works, it says it flows like a functioning aquarium. This is different from the one Paul bought, so maybe it will work, we're gonna see. I think that should be good and then once we get water it will all even out oh mini saltwater aquarium dude so cool dude it looks sick even from the back and i like the sand because it's not like thick sand it's really fine oh this is like the final moments right here and then the light goes on but boom tank is all filled up look how sick that is it may lower since it's going down to the sump but Oh my gosh, dude, literally, a, this is a legit mini saltwater aquarium. Definitely think this is an awesome idea. The fact that we can now go out and catch a little fish for it isn't even gonna be better. So let's get the light on, see how the final product came out, and then let's go catch some awesome aquarium fish. Big boy, Nick, look at this. Should I get him? Should I go down there? Yeah, go get him. Go All right, him. let's see what he looks like. Right now we're looking for little aquarium fish and stuff that we can add to our mini saltwater aquarium. And while doing that, we just found a big old hermit crab. He's out of his shell right now. This right here is a red hermit crab. So this is actually the same kind you guys saw that was in the pond, but a lot smaller. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that thing. Dude, he's sick. That thing is hauling butt, my gosh. That's sick. Let's keep looking. Oh my gosh, dude, I think I, I might have found something that can go in the tank. Look at this. We got a micro blue crab. So tiny. Look at him. So sick, dude. Let's put him in the tank. Oh, there he goes. Right now we're just looking for some seaweed that gets caught up in these little lagoons and stuff because what happens is a lot of the fish, the invertebrates hide in the seaweed. But honestly, we're having no luck finding seaweed. And the reasoning for that is it's an outgoing tide, meaning all that seaweed gets pushed out into the ocean. When it's an incoming tide, it all gets pushed into the inlet. So we're able to actually scoop it up and go through it. But right now, whole inlet is cleared of seaweed. We are back home, got our little crab in this cup right here. He's actually right there. And what we're gonna do is slowly acclimate him to the mini saltwater aquarium. And it's actually the same water as the 200 gallon. So I'm just gonna take a little cup and pour some in here and then that will slowly acclimate him. We'll give him about 20, 25 minutes and then he's going in to his little tank. And guys, this is a little temporary tank. He's not in here for the rest of his life. We're gonna put him in here. It's a little experiment. We made this tank. It's obviously a working tank, so we wanted to catch something cool. Our goal was to obviously catch something a little smaller, but we couldn't catch something smaller, so this was the smallest thing we got today, and it's a little blue crab. Usually we feed these guys to our bait fish, so what we're probably gonna do is put them in here, let them be in here for like a day or two, and then put them into the bait tank. We are here in David's room. So if you guys don't know David, David is now the editor of the Nick Bingo channel, and this is his room. He just moved in, and you guys probably honestly know David prior to me so from Paul's videos and stuff but um we just put this little crab aquarium mini saltwater aquarium in his room because D David doesn't he's not really a fish guy so to start him off with we got him his own little mini saltwater aquarium eventually well if you guys want to see we should surprise David I know he's behind the camera right now but we'll surprise you with like a, a cool looking tank a lot bigger but to start off with this is literally perfect we got the little editing station right here and then when he's editing he's got a little crab to look at look at him digging dude Oh my gosh, he's taking the sand from his corner and throwing it onto that rock. Watch him. So cool. But I think we can definitely go out when there's a lot more seaweed and catch like a lot of little trigger fish, a lot of little shrimp, a lot more smaller crabs. So if you guys want to see that, get this video to 5,000 likes. 5,000 likes, and we'll go out and try again for our mini saltwater aquarium. If you guys enjoyed the video though, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below how you think the saltwater aquarium came out. One through 10, let me know in the comments down below. But with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya! Yeah. Yeah. Wake up in the morning, I go get a check. Following my dreams like I'm possessed. If it down on myself, so much that is my Making sacrifices so my family won't stress. Gotta 